All right, so um, here's a little video that uh, I decided to put together to show kind of what's going on inside my website and to show people uh, about how to use it and what kind of things are uh, available at my website. So, um, first of all, what we have um, are lots of lessons. There's about 120 available lessons right now, exactly 119, but I'm going to upload a couple more tonight, and uh, that'll be like 121. Uh, various song forms, uh, some are dance accompaniment, some of the lessons are accompanying a singer, some of them are advanced stuff for solo guitar, some of them are, are beginning level falsettas and compas and stuff for uh, for guitar so and intermediate too so they're all different levels as you can see over here you have the different song forms available and then there's a section on technique of course and um, uh, there's a section on chord progressions which uh, there's not a whole lot of lessons on but I want to put some more of that stuff up there's dance accompaniment and conti accompaniment as well. And then you can also select lessons by um, by the uh, level. So let's go to the beginner section see what we have in there. Um, when you click that, all these available lessons in that category pop up. And let's go down and look real quick at the, uh, the uh, Sigiria falsetta here at normal tempo. And we'll check that out real quick. Turn it on, there it is. So there was the normal tempo version of that falsetta. Now we can go and click the slow tempo button and a slow down version pops up. It's the same performance but uh, digitally slowed down. And if uh, this wasn't slow enough, you can use this uh, key command where you hold down the control key and then click over here in this area and a new controller comes up and you can slow it down even more, 50% more, which is, uh, for this falsetta, is incredibly slow. without changing the pitch, which is pretty nifty for, for beginners especially too that need things very slow. Here it is back at normal tempo. Or normal slow tempo that is, excuse me. Alright, and then we'll move to the counted version. Some people like to hear falsettas or it helps them to learn it to have the beats counted out. And uh, in Sigiria, I count Sigiria starting from eight. Um, there's different methods or ways that, that people count Sigiria, um, but I do uh, it from eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six is how I do it. So um, here is uh, the counted version of this. So on, 
And all the lessons also have a commentary that talks about the falsetta um, and usually gives a little bit of insight into the material for that particular lesson. All right, this lesson's about uh, Sigidias. Um, it's our first falsetta for Sigidias. And um, it's primarily an arpeggio technique uh, type of falsetta a melody with an arpeggio type of accompaniment. So you get the idea there. And then, last but not least, there is a score available. So you click the score button and up pops a score. And usually, uh, you know, only about two uh, systems show up at a time. And, of course, we, we don't uh, they're not printable because we don't want uh, these to be redistributed. This is a lot of work. That it takes me quite a bit of work to to do all this, and Nigel's doing all these transcriptions. It's a lot of material, and and so we don't allow uh, them to be printed. But you can view two systems at a time, and you can move through the score uh, by scrolling down, and then you can move over by page. Um, here and uh, you can move through the score navigate through the score that way you can change the tempo of the score uh, you could even change and transpose the key of the score and uh, of course uh, the scorch plugin uh, you can choose the playback device and and things like that and of course if you hit play it will play back a MIDI version of this which Sometimes sounds a little cheesy, but actually it's very clear and, and can be very helpful as well. Um, and of course, Nigel's doing a fantastic job on the scores. I'm very, very happy with his work. And uh, he really makes things a lot easier for me to get lots of new classes up there quickly because he's handling all the transcriptions. So great work, Nigel. We love what you do. Thank you so much. Um... There is also, let's look at some other classes while we've got uh, this movie running. Let's go to some intermediate material stuff. Um, here is, let's see, let's look at, um, oh, let's uh, do this uh, lesson for accompanying Bulerias Cante. Watch the normal tempo video here. So there's a nice little intermediate level lesson on accompanying Cante Pobleria. And um, all the other stuff that the other videos had are there. The score, the commentary, the counted out version, and the slow tempo. And uh, But in addition to that, this one has a play-along track without the guitar, just the Cante. So you can practice, uh, you can practice accompanying the singing without my guitar there. Me duele, me duele you. Me duele, me duele que la boquita de decirte flamenca si tú me quieres. En la boquita de decirte flamenca si tú me So that's a nice little lesson for those of you that want to learn how to accompany the singing. And uh, let's check out uh, a quick little dance accompaniment. <laughs> 